I even uh, was just trying to piece things together on a sort of day-to-day -day basis. I, I wasn't really thinking too much about the band at that point. Uh, when, when Jim died and we just fired Pete and there was a lot of problems in the band before that and then I wasn't thinking too much about the band but we had, uh, I think we had already booked studio time for Chain Gang we'd been talking about doing it so Martin and I finally uh, were talking and said why don't we go in and have a crack at it anyway with some people and just see what happens. Uh, I, I don't even know if we were we weren't even actually thinking about continuing the band or not. We were just going to try that project. At that time, Robbie, were you interested, just prior to the, the deaths, uh, of joining the band? Was there a rumor there that you were going to join? Yeah, Jimmy had spoken to me like uh, earlier on that year quite a few times, and he'd mm. come to see the band I was in before that and said, that, you know, do you want to sort of augment the band right. as a sort of fifth member, play a bit of guitar and a bit of keyboards? And he spoke to me, finally, he spoke to me the day before he died. But I never, I never sort of got in touch. No. At the time, I finally got a call from Dave Hill, the manager. Which I didn't really think it was in terribly good taste to, to phone up immediately. You know, as soon as no. Jimmy was a friend, you know, mm. sort of jump in there. So at that time, what were you prior to the Pretenders? What were you up to? You were working in some strange named bands. Can you just run through a couple of them? Well, bef about nine months before I joined the band, I was with a band called Chris Thompson the Islands. Right. I packed that in and I was just doing, just sort of keeping the wolf on the door, really doing the odd session. I had a pub band on my own, which I just threw together called Dean Martin's Dog. Yeah, was I that think. your idea to name it that? Yeah, it was just a, you know, it was just a throw together band, just, just, just a bit of fun, you know, something to do, really. I still do it. I've still done the odd one since I've been with the Pretenders. It's just like, it's a low key thing, just a local pub, you know. Learning to Crawl, the album, which is now out, was that titled after the fact that you just had the baby, or was that that sort of uh, whole build again of the band, like a salvage almost? I think it was more inspired by the kid a yeah. little bit, but I, I don't know, maybe it was a subconscious. Uh, it was a, just a throwaway title, everyone seemed to like it, so. Can you tell us about the, the baby? It is now, uh, like, of course, a girl, but how old at this stage? Oh, she's uh, 13 months now, and yeah. Robbie's got one who's 14 months, so they're both sure. here. So, and you brought them both with yeah. you? Yeah. So how is that to travel on the road with, with a couple of youngies? It's great. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a lot of fun, really. Good, yeah. It doesn't sort of interfere with day-to-day -day living on the road? No, not at all. I mean, day-to-day -day is day-to-day, -day, really. It's just in the, the gigs in the evening. And that's it's good the hours, isn't it? You know, and especially here. I mean, we're having quite a holiday. We haven't really had a lot a lot of gigs. And when it gets mm. to America, I mean, it gets a little bit a little bit more drastic. But we've been here but just over a week, and we've only mm -hmm. done three gigs, it's great, it's a nice break. So you? have you got your lady with you, Rob? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And Ray is not here, is he, or is he no. secretly snuck in? No, no, he's he's in London, but he keeps threatening to come over, but uh, I don't know if he'll get it together. He's working on a film, so. Uh-huh. So journalist, songwriter, performer, any other challenges for you in the future? No, I don't really have any ambitions. I just, outside of playing the guitar in the band and doing the band. Right. I'm happy doing that. Robbie, where to from Australia? Whereabouts? Uh, oh, about how the film, are, oh, New Zealand. Mm -hmm. And well, in the, the film. film. In the, the film, film. the yes, acting career. And... Oh, oh yeah. that's, that's, that's coming. <laughs> are you really? No. no. You can have me on. I believe anything. It seems no, to be no, the, no. the trend, isn't it? Everyone, that's right. everyone goes into that area. Sting. So you no, have no hopes of doing that? No, I'll let this. I'll stick to playing the guitar. Right, so oh, from here, New Zealand. New then Zealand, America. yeah. Hawaii. Uh-huh. America. And then the world. Well, you've just about done it. <laughs> yeah. What are your thoughts on Narara? The comparison with overseas outdoor festivals like that, would it have come up to standard, or do you think there was a little bit of uh, oh, sloppiness in there? Standard, I think. I thought yeah. it was pretty average. Yeah, yeah nothing. It could have been anywhere. Just no. And they ferried people pretty good. from the campsite, you know, and the backstage area was fine. It was. You know, it was, I don't know what it was like the day after. Apparently, it, was, it got rained out. Yeah, so that's a real shame. Which is, which is a shame. You know, the general and, mood and everything was. It was good. I'd do it again. If you I was enjoying asked. yourself in Australia this time? Yeah. Yeah. You like the view? Oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> okay, we'll leave you with that. We've got a middle of the road. <laughs>